So I'm going to be showing you how to tie a Wally wing today. I'm starting off with a mallard flank feather. Just grabbing it by the tip and I'm just going to rip off these lower fuzzies. Uh, don't need them for our Wally wing. So I'm going to go ahead and rip both sides off here. Just leaving the bare stem. Now that we have just these upper fibers, I'm going to take the longer fibers, again pull those back even, evenly on both sides, and that's what we're going to use to form our wing. One thing I would like you to notice here is that there's an upward sweep or upward curvature of the feathers. You can really see it pretty well in this view how both sides uh, sweep up and out and that's what we're really looking for uh, as we prepare to make a walling wing. You can even take your fingers and pinch those feathers up to help accentuate that upward curve and this is what we're looking for right here. Uh, as we, what we're going to do is again take a pinch wrap and that's how we're going to tie our wing onto our hook. So I'm going to take a size 14 dry fly hook here and I want to measure my feathers so they're about a hook shank length. That's how we know we have the right sized wally wing. So I'm going to go ahead and start my thread here on the hook. Go ahead and trim off the waist here and then take my thread back to about the two-thirds to three-quarter point uh, spot on the hook. I'm going to go ahead and grab that feather. As you can see, it, we have those longer fi fibers pulled back. And I'm going to go ahead and take those. Pinch grip. Set those down right where our thread is and then using a pinch grab go ahead and take two tight wraps here get it situated even on our hook and then continue binding it down backwards to tie it down now we can go ahead and trim off that extra and finish binding it down Go ahead and take your thread forward if you want to post up our wing a little bit and take a few wraps in front to post it up. Okay, now I'm going to switch views here so we're looking down the hook shank. Here's our mallard feather we've tied on. I'm going to go ahead and on one side of the feather I'm going to go ahead and take five or six fibers from that just that one side. Go ahead and pull those down. What we're pull off one of our wings off the stem. And do the same to the other side. Take five or six fibers. Go ahead and pull pull the wing away from the stem of the feather. Now what we can do is go ahead and take my scissors and trim down that feather stem. So here we are back on the side view. Sometimes these wally wings do take a bit of manipulating to spread them out. And you can take a figure eight or X cross wrap to help spread them out as well. And then I'm just going to take uh, scissors and clip off these leading fibers on each side. And again, it might take a bit of manipulating to really stretch out that wally wing. 
So now that's how you make our Wally Wing. Uh, you can really use these for a bunch of different flies. Here an example, I'm just gonna tie a simple mayfly in the rest of the video. Um, using a few mayfly tails, synthetic tails here. I'm gonna bind those down with a few wraps and then pull them to about a hook shank length. Taking one wrap underneath them really helps to splay all those fibers out. And I go ahead and trim off the extra here. I hope to do several other videos later on with other patterns that involve Wally Wings. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of uh, light gray dubbing. Just really can use any kind of dubbing, but uh, this is matches the naturals here in Wyoming. And I'm going to form a thin noodle on my thread and wind it to form a tapered body. And end with my thread right behind the wings. Here I have a a uh, done hackle feather that I'm going to tie in again right behind our wally wings and then work my thread forward to right behind the eye of the hook. And then I'm just going to take wraps, a few wraps behind the wing, and then go ahead and pull those wings back and take a few wraps in front. Once I'm up to the eye, go ahead and take a few wraps to secure the hackle. Pull those fibers back and I can go ahead and trim the extra hackle. And go ahead and finish off with whip finish and a bit of head cement. Hopefully you'll see a lot more of these Wally Wing patterns here on the channel in the future. And again, thanks for watching.